Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about the news of the day, the Pro Day of Pro Days. That's the South Carolina Pro Days. Is serious? Boom, cat mode, baby. Let's go. Let's get that lint out of the way. Guys, this is a good time to be a cowboy. Today was a good day. You know what I'm saying? So, man, uh, the Cowboys are in a good position. You saw what Patrick Sertan did yesterday with his Pro Day. He knocked it out the park. He's in the conversation again with the, with the Cowboys. Now you have jc horn he puts up just as good in numbers if not better actually they are better so take a look at this michael gelkin coming in here retweeting matt miller jc horn patrick sertan numbers you know you see similar jc horn has the speed on him the vertical jump the explosiveness when you when you look at the the, the vertical jump broad jump numbers that's where you see the explosiveness okay when somebody says explosive those are the numbers you look at vertical jump broad jump Bench is pretty close. Uh, Patrick obviously has him with the height and the weight, but pretty close. But the speed, you do like that out of J.C. Horn. I think he's definitely in the mix for the Cowboys. But there's other teams looking at him. Have both of these players moved into the top nine? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see what happens here. Like I said, every year you see uh, these these cornerbacks, they get that bump. You saw A.J. Terrell, some of these other players... Uh, got drafted a little bit further up than, than typically you think about before the draft. You know, a lot of mock drafts tend to be a little bit off, give or take, especially when it comes to cornerbacks. It's a high commodity position. Cornerbacks, offensive linemen, you need them in the league, and uh, they go high, you know? So will either of these guys even be there in the top 10? Let me know what you guys, but look, look and see who else is looking at these, uh, at JC Horn, the Bears, Patriots, Eagles. Bengals and Panthers, okay? But the Cowboys had the big brass there, the big guns as well. This is Michael Gelkin, Dan Quinn, and Will McClay, VP of Player Personnel, attended South Carolina's Pro Day today. Close look at J.C. Horn after McClay and Quinn scouted Sertan on Tuesday. So, you know, they're, they are looking at these guys heavy duty, heavy duty, okay? So, uh, you know, the Alabama one, McCarthy was there. So this is, uh, the Cowboys are in, in a good position, you know, and and this is not, you're in the top 10. You know, for, for a little bit, I thought maybe they could maybe move back. Maybe they would. Maybe this was too rich for these guys. But as we're getting closer to the the the, uh, the draft and you, and you see what the Cowboys have done in free agency, you know, they haven't really added any uh, veterans there outside. If you had to start a game today, Anthony Brown, Trayvon Diggs, I'm not, I'm not about that. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to roll with that. Uh, so it, it does look like DB is at the very top again, uh, even over offensive line, because you do still have, you know, Tyron and, and Lyle, and you, I feel good about Brandon Knight in relief duty. But when it comes to the cornerback position, you have somebody i'm not really high on with anthony brown and then who do you have under him you know what i mean so very thin there going into the draft i think right now you're looking at db as being the number one spot now will the cowboys pivot and go another direction i think that only happens if these guys get wiped out and with these numbers guys that they put in here oh man i, I don't know if if, if if these guys will be there you know look at the interest here like i said so we'll see what they do Guys, let me know what you guys think about the J.C. Horn Pro Day today. How do you feel about either either Patrick Sertan or J.C. Horn? I, for me, guys, I'm fine with either one. I really, really am. I, I'm not going to be about, no, I don't I don't want him. No, I don't want him. You're in a good position if you get either one. They they balled out, and uh, the numbers are very comparable to, uh, to Jalen Ramsey. I'm not saying that either of these guys will be Jalen Ramsey, but the pedigree the the measurables and numbers they are right there with him so body of work uh, speaks for itself so guys let me know what you guys think shout out to all my subscribers continue to like subscribe and share catch you for the next one guys peace